Okay, playing behind me right now is a video NVIDIA just released showing the game No Man's Sky running with its DLSS update. DLSS update. Uh, I can speak. Okay, and why is that a big deal? Well, in general, it's nice to see more games getting DLSS support because one of the main criticisms of the usefulness of DLSS is just its limited application to games. If a game doesn't support it, then you get nothing out of it. But what is really a big deal, uh, for me at least, is the fact that this is getting support in a game that supports VR. And to my knowledge, this is now the first game getting DLSS support that is also a VR-supported title. And it hit me all of a sudden that VR could be a fantastic place to look at the effectiveness of DLSS, this could be a great place for DLSS. Why? Well, because it's extremely important in VR to have a high frame rate, to smooth everything out, make it feel good, and to um, have it not uh, give you like motion sickness and stuff. If your frame rate's low enough, uh, you can actually like really suffer from that experience. So, uh, that uh, is really interesting to me, that it could be getting VR support. Also, on the topic of VR, I want to mention I did just purchase a VR headset. It's on the way, it's in the mail. Expect a video out very soon on the channel uh, about which headset did I buy and why, which could be kind of a buyer's guide for VR headsets if you're looking at what's currently out right now and why I decided on the one that I did. Also, you should expect some unboxing content, first impressions, reviews, and maybe some benchmarks and things, maybe even getting into some of this DLSS stuff and my thoughts on if it's worth it in the VR experience. Overall, I'm excited about it, but haven't had a chance to test it out myself yet today. Now, before I go any farther in this video, I shouldn't just assume that everybody knows what DLSS is. You might have clicked on this video and not be super familiar on that. So basically, it's a NVIDIA um, product that works on their RTX series of graphics cards, so the 20 series and 30 series cards. And what it basically does is it uses a machine learning algorithm to run the game at a lower internal resolution and output it at a higher resolution via a machine learning upscaling algorithm. Now, this allows the game to run at a much higher frame rate, and this depends on the exact settings you use. Generally, DLSS will let you choose between things like quality performance or ultra performance, um, and as you go down that scale, the internal resolution gets lower, but that makes the machine learning arg uh, algorithm sometimes struggle more to reconstruct what the image should look like, so there's usually some visual trade-offs um, with DLSS at all, and then gets worse the further down um, the internal render resolution you go. So basically what it's going to let you do is it gives you free frame rates, except it's not entirely free because since it's using the algorithm to reconstruct the image, there are sometimes certain artifacts and things that happen to degrade the image quality. And before you get into the comment section, and I read all the comments, uh, you guys, uh, sometimes people pop up when I talk about DLSS, no, it doesn't degrade the image quality, it makes it look better. I'm sorry, but I've just not seen that as my experience. Sure, there are specific instances and cases where the DLSS uh, might look better than native, but that is rare and is certainly not the case across the board. Different games use DLSS in better or worse, but in general, in all the games that I've tested and actually used videos and done videos about it on this channel, I find that DLSS looks worse overall than native, and it should. You're not just getting free frame rate and an improved image. But many times it is worth the trade-off, but it really varies game by game and situation by situation. Overall, if I could run the game at a frame rate I'm happy with at native resolution, I would rather than just instantly turning on DLSS because I do feel like it degrades the image quality. Anyway, so which games got uh, the update today. Not all of them being VR titles, but some of them are VR titles. So we're getting the No Man's Sky update. By the way, this is coming from an NVIDIA article at nvidia.com. I'll link to it in the description. So um, this is the uh, performance graph that NVIDIA released here. So this is not something I tested, but this is what NVIDIA is claiming your results would be in this game. At a variety of graphics cards, this is running at 4K with the DLSS on performance mode. I believe usually 4K at performance mode, I think is generally a 1080p internal resolution, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, but I think you're basically upscaling from something like 1080p up to 4K. And that's why you get this massive, massive performance boost. But again, usually at some uh, image quality loss there. Now I have a 2070, which isn't on this graph. Sorry if you just heard my email update thing over there. I forgot to mute that computer. <laughs> anyway, um, the, uh, so maybe I'll, I'll test out some of this stuff myself in some games, especially when I get the VR headset. 
Okay, they're also saying Amid Evil is adding DLSS and ray tracing support. That's not a VR title to my knowledge, but um, if you're interested in that game, hey, there's this update available now. We're getting Aaron's Adventure integrating Unreal Engine 4 DLSS plugin, which I, I think uh, NVIDIA has support, yeah, in, in Unreal Engine uh, to just inject this into your game using a, a plugin, which maybe could see a lot of other games adding it, which would be neat. They also released a performance graph here, again, showing the, uh, ooh, did not mean to zoom in that far. Whoa, going crazy here. Ah, okay. Uh, showing the 4K um, at DLSS performance mode again um, on this one. How do I get out of here? There we go. And um, we also have Everspace 2 getting NVIDIA DLSS update. We had no performance graph given on this one. We have Into the Radius VR, so another VR title adding DLSS support. No performance graphs given on this one. We're getting Metro Exodus PC Enhanced Edition with enhanced ray tracing and NVIDIA DLSS 2.0. And again, we do get a performance graph for this one as well. Um, again, this is 4K in DLSS performance mode with performance ultra ray tracing. Uh, sorry, not performance, with ultra ray tracing. I think performance was talking about the 4K performance there. <laughs> okay, misread that for a second. All right, we've got read out or read out. Read out, I think, is how you pronounce that. I don't know, man. Anyway, Space Assault adding NVIDIA DLSS and ray tracing. So if you're interested in that game, you're getting DLSS and ray tracing, not just the DLSS on that one. Scavengers Early Access launching with NVIDIA DLSS. Uh, again, no performance graph that I can see here. We're getting a wrench update, adding ray tracing and NVIDIA DLSS for desktops and VR headsets. This is another VR title that we're seeing here. This one actually gives us three performance graphs here. I believe these are at 4K, 1440p, and 1080p with ray tracing on and the DLSS set to performance mode when we're doing it at 4K. And I believe when we step down over here to 1440p, we're seeing this with the DLSS set to quality mode again with ray tracing on, and here's 1080p with the DLSS on quality mode. Okay, I believe that was all of the titles, no, um, but they also are mentioning that, that we're now up to 50 games with these ones added in. We're now up to 50 games that have um, DLSS support. So as I end this video, I will scroll through the list of games that have DLSS support. The list is getting bigger, and that's nice to see for the added value um, of DLSS. What do you guys think about all of this in the comment sections? Thoughts on DLSS, thoughts on its applications to VR. Once again, I will be having some VR-related content coming out here in the extremely near future. Overall, I like to see technology advancing and whether or not DLSS is your favorite thing, it's cool to see it getting added support and you know technology moving forward related to all of this. And I hope you guys have an excellent day.